Magandang hapon po mga katribu and welcome to Be Well Now. Hindi kahapon, hindi bukas, kundi ngayon din. Our special guest today is Dr. Ted Herbosa. Siya po ay uh, dating advisor ng National Task Force versus COVID-19. Pero matanong ko nga, sa dami ng mga variants dumarating sa buong mundo, ano kaya ang dapat natin gawin? At isa pang tanong, ang COVID-19 ba ay para siyang flu? Dr. Ted, you have the spot. Yes, uh, thank you. And uh, good afternoon, uh, Ma'am Cory, and good afternoon to all the televiewers dito sa uh, Daily Tribune and this uh, show on health and wellness. And really thank you for giving me the opportunity. First question, uh, ano ba ang dapat natin gawin? Uh, very common naman yung sinasabi ng ating President and also our Department of Health is saying that we should update our uh, vaccination status. Ano ibig sabihin ng update? Kailangan natin makuha yung mga booster kasi importante na malaman ng ating mga kababayan dyan na yung uh, antibodies brought about by our primary vaccination, yung first two doses, ito po ay nagwe-wane pagkaraan ng uh, nagwe-wane, bumababa after several months after Uh, three to six months, ito ay bumababa and exposes us again to uh, new variants. So very important na ma-protect tayo uli by getting the first booster, which is recommended after three months, and also the second booster for people who are candidate for it magpa-booster. So ito yung tinatawag namin updating your vaccination status. Pag ikaw ay updated, kahit may bagong variants like today na report kahapon ng Department of Health meron na ring 2.75 variant ng Omicron sa Philippines this came from India and sabi nila may vaccine escape ito so pwede ka pa rin ma-infect even if you're vaccinated at yung circulating na BA.5 na parang ubo si Pon so nung tinatanong ako para bang ubo at si Pon Well, yes for the subvariant BA.5. Parang karamihan ng naging patients ko, ubo si Pon for a couple of days, some sore throat and then fever, tapos magaling na sila. So para talagang ubot si Pon. And I think this is the reason hindi nagpapa booster ang karamihan kasi ang sabi nila ay parang si Pon. Pero ngayon may bago na namang variant yung BA.5. Ito yung kumakalat all over North America at Europe. And uh, mahirap na pag ikaw ang tinamaan at ikaw ay elderly or may ibang uh, illness, pwede ka talagang ma-hospital because of the uh, complications of that kind of uh, mild viral infection. Tapos meron pa tayong latest na syempre uh, binabantayan itong bagong variant na 2.75 na may dalawang kaso na raw. Sa West Visayas pa lang naman po, wala pa yata ditong na-identify sa NPR. BA.5 pa rin yung predominant dito kahapon parang uh, almost 2,000 or 3,000 cases all over the country tayo. Pero doctor, so, said, anong yung... gagawin? Magsuot pa rin ng mask kasi yung iba gusto nang tanggalin yung mask. Ibang countries nagtanggal na ng mask. Ako, kaming mga doktor, unanimous na we will keep recommending the wearing of mask to prevent uh, future COVID infection. Yung mask is to prevent the transmission, yung kahawahan kasi tayo sa Philippines mas maano ang population density natin, Ma'am Corrie. Eh. Mas dikit-dikit ang mga Pilipino. Eh. Sakay ka sa bus, sakay ka sa tren, punta ka sa palengke, punta ka sa uh, mall. Daming tao. Hindi ka gaya sa ibang bansa. <laughs> Iilan lang yung mga tao. No? So your interaction is lower. Pero talaga sila magtanggal ng mask. Pero sa Philippines, parang hindi pa namin ma-recommend. So we still recommend masking. And pangalawa, yung booster. Magpa-booster. Okay. Kasi napansin natin... Ugali na ng mga Pilipino yan, eh, kahit nasaan ka, kahit napakalaki yung hallway, nagsisiksikan pa rin yung mga tao. Wala, wala tayong sense of personal space. Hindi ba? Aha. Ay, Tama. Hindi ko may kumiyan. Ma'am Corey, our, our behavior, ang Asians, walang personal space. You go to China, to Hong Kong, babanggain ka talaga sa sidewalk oh. ng mga taong naglalakad. Pero try do going to North America, Europe, lumalayo sila one meter away from the other stranger. Uh, in the, even in the elevator, pag medyo puno na, hindi na sila sisiksik. They will take the next one. Tama. Dito sa atin, sa Asia, hindi ganun <laughs> ang personal space. Basta hindi pa tayo nagkadikit, hindi personal space pa rin dyan. Yun nga. Yun ang dapat natin turuan ng ating mga kababayan. 
na respetuhin po natin ang personal space ng tao, ano kaya bababa ang rate ng infection? Uh, de- definitely, because if you protect yourself with a mask, that prevents you from... But if you have distance, alam natin na yung droplet infection, bumabagsak yun. So ang chance mo ma-inhale yung virus ng katapat mo is lower kung one meter apart ka. So mm. a- additional ano yun, additional protection yun if people respected the uh, uh, personal physical space. Pero hindi namin mabago dito sa Asia yan. Eh. Kasi sa Asia parang walang pansinan sa ganyan. Eh. Talagang dikit-dikit sa palengke, dikit-dikit sa mall, dikit-dikit sa booth. Diba? Hanggat may space, may sisiksik na tao doon. Sa Europe, America, parang hindi sila sisiksik. Eh. Talagang oh, they respect na... Pa sila. Oh, 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 you, you, oh, take your face off my face. Diba? Ganun oh, yung yeah. ano ng ng uh, Caucasian eh, parang you're too near me. What, what do you want? Parang oh. ano, i-invade mo yung kanyang personal space. Dito kasi walang ganon sa Asia. Sa Philippines lalo, gusto natin magkakadikit tayo. <laughs> <laughs> gusto nila parang sardinas tayong lahat dito. Yes, oh, yes. Oh. Bakit usong-uso ngayon yung pneumonia? Well, pneumonia is a complication of uh, any infection that goes all the way to a lower airway tract. Kasi yung, yung Omicron ngayon, yung BA5, sa upper respiratory tract yon mm-hmm. now yung una yung dati yung delta yung daming pneumonia kasi it goes down to the lungs and the trachea and the windpipes so ito yung nagkakaroon ng inflammation hindi lang sa throat pati sa lungs and the, that is what is what we call doctors as pneumonia now there are two ways you can get pneumonia from the virus itself which will cause the inflammation of the lungs or from a secondary bacterial infection kasi pag ikaw ay tinamaan ng let's say COVID hanggang throat lang, pero mahina ang katawan mo, nilalagnat ka, may edad ka na, immunocompromised ka, you cannot mount a defense if there is a second bacteria na naubuhang ka ng ibang tao na younger, younger na ubus sa'yo, may bacteria ka na inhale, it can infect your lungs and you will have what we call a post-viral pneumonia. Bacterial yon Kaya yun yung nagre-reseta kami yung mga doktor ng antibiotic para ma- ma-control yung pneumonia mo after a trangkaso. So that's why the flu will also kill. The flu doesn't kill you. It's the secondary bacterial infection that kills you. Ganun din sa mga bata, yung measles doesn't kill them. It's the secondary bronchopneumonia na nakukuha nila na parang sumusunod siya yung bacteria. Ah, mahina ang katawan nito fighting a viral infection. Dadating ngayon yung superimposed bacteria. Yun yung nagiging pneumonia. And ito yung story ng friend niya yata na, na visit niyo siguro. Baka ganito yan, secondary bacterial infection, maho-hospitalize ka, bibigyan ka namin ng mga very very expensive antibiotics actually ang binibigay namin. Kasi kailangan life-saving. Life-saving antibiotics. Kasi pag hindi mo na-treat agad yung pneumonia, you can die from pneumonia. Lalong-lalo na kung senior na. Yes, of course. The seniors kasi... As we get older, mga 70s, 80s, our immune systems also age. So it cannot mount the same immune response. That's why it's nice to be healthy. So I like your show, Ma'am Gorye. Kasi uh, you, you promote wellness, di ba? You promote keeping healthy because when you eat well, exercise, and protect your body, your body's immune defenses also become stronger. Because your immune, ses- uh, immune system is stronger because you're healthy, you're able to mount a better in, uh, defense against itong mga secondary infection. Mm-hmm. Dok, masabi daw nila na yung COVID-19 dahil dumating yung yung uh, Omicron na uh, noong Disyembre, nasabi nila mas mahina na daw yon, Humihina na daw ang COVID-19. True or false? Okay. Uh, true. Uh, y- yung first two variants na alala mo, uh, Ma'am Pori, We had doctors dying, nurses dying, no? May infect sila ng patients na may COVID-19, yung alpha, yung beta. And the worst was yung delta. Alam niyan yun, ang worry, noong 2021, ako, dami kong kaibigan, nakapila sa mga emergency room ng mga ospital. Napadala ko sila sa Batangas, sa Cavite, sa Pampanga, kasi puno lahat ng ospital ng tinamaan, no? So, kung delta ang pagbabatayan, talagang Omicron now is really weaker. So ito yung naging natural mutation, natural mutation or evolution of the virus. So when you have a new virus like when the influenza came out in 1918, eventually it evolved. 
Kasi pag siya ay deadly pa rin, mm. mawawala siya, magiging siyang extinct. Because if you kill your host, wala na, mawawala ka rin. Kasi if mm. all the hosts die because you infect them, the virus cannot propagate. Pag napatay mo na yung host mo, wala ka nang mahawa. But if your host lives, that host can infect others. Mm. So the virus naturally mutates to a strain na milder. So the original uh, COVID and today's Omicron is like, sabi nga nila parang ubusipon lang. Now, mm. we don't know kung dahil sa mutation lang yan, Ma'am Corey. Pwede rin dahil sa bakuna because 74 million Filipinos got the two doses of the vaccine. So maybe it's mild because that was the promise of the vaccine. That if you get yourself vaccinated, the symptoms will not be as strong as nung naive pa yung mga katawan natin when, our, when we were all still virgin from the illness. Uh, the, the, the immune response was very bad. The inflammatory response was very bad. Pero ngayong meron na tayong antibodies, meron na tayong natural immunity dahil na-infect ka na before, parang ubusipo na lang siya. So basically, parang I'm hoping those two things happening, the natural evolution and the vaccination and the boostering is leading to this time na parang hindi na tayo as fearful, di ba? Kaya tuloy-tuloy na mga party, nakapagkampanya tayo. We got elections. Oo. And uh, people were just in big campaign rallies and uh, walang namamatay, di ba? Wala, walang people na namamatay. It's only now that we're getting this new outbreak and new increase in cases na parang 3,000, 4,000 a day lang naman. Ang sabi ng DOH, by next month, baka umabot ng 19,000. Pero projection lang yan, Ma'am Corey. Projections never are, you know, estimates lang yan eh. Like, uh, you know, like a prediction. So, oh. we hope na with all the measures, yung booster doses at yung pagsusuot ng mask ng Pilipino, eh, hindi tayo dumami. Gaya sa Amerika, like sa New York, they want to bring back the mask mandate. Kasi nga, ang dami masyado yung nai-infect. Mm-hmm. So, Doc, uh, pampalakas ng immune system the natural way, no, Doc? Uh, para kahit anong klaseng bacteria o virus darating sa ating buhay, mas malakas ang ating panlaban sa karamdaman. What tips okay. would you give very, as a doctor? A very good, very good question, ano? and I'm always asked this. So, well, number one, of course, sleep well and exercise kasi exercise increases our basta your physical body is strong your immune system is strong mm-hmm. second vitamin C uh, vitamin C can be taken from natural natural fruits you know uh, uh, orange uh, citrus citrus fruits can give you lots of vitamin C drink lots of this vitamin C containing fruits uh, guava has high is rich in vitamin C it's indigenous fruits syempre hindi na nila recommend abroad yet so lalo naman silang guava But in the Philippines, we have guava. So you can eat guava, which has higher vitamin C than your uh, your oranges, your imported oranges. And then we have uh, also vitamin B. B. B is also good to improve your immunity. So yung ating uh, mga kinakain vegetables, basta vegetables and colored, they are rich in vitamins and minerals. So kita mo, if, if you have people who are in health and wellness, they really recommend a colored plate. Kailangan yung plato mo makulay. Dapat natural na, color, right? Hindi full color. <laughs> Kailangan yung kulay na may meron diyan ano, you know, uh, green Kula, leafy vegetables, meron uh, mga uh, you know, fruits, uh, mga carrots that are orange, uh, beta carotene and all of those. So, all of this God has given us all this natural product. Of course, siyempre gumagawa ng pills. <laughs> Bibili natin 'yan. That's one way. But all of these vitamins our body needs, ang tawag dito sa vitamins are micronutrients. Mm. So we have vitamins and trace elements, iron, zinc, all of these are needed for the immune response. Mm. So your body needs iron, your body needs zinc, your body needs selenium. In fact, yung mga later on products of health, they just replicate this and put this in the drink yeah. uh, that you're buying and paying for. But all of these are naturally occurring and they actually occur in fruits and vegetables and the fresher they are the better so if you eat a salad that is raw you're going to get the vitamins you get a fruit that is not preserved you get the vitamins in fact sabi nila yung vitamins daw ay nandoon dun sa rind it's in the rind of the like say an apple y- yung 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 rind noon yun ba pinipil yon di ba kasi ayaw nila 
but the vitamins are actually in the peel of the uh, apple. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yes, 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 Titingnan niyo rin yan, yung color. Number one, it's very attractive. There's green and red there. It actually stimulates your brain to be hungry. Mm. Kaya if you notice, all these fast food chains, their colors of their logos are red and yellow and green. Or orange. orange. Or orange because that uh, stimulates you from hunger. And nature produced this. So if you look at your vegetables or a salad, it will create all these colors. You know, the carrot there, the green that's there. That's right. And then it makes you hungry. So you'll eat more. So very important yan. Thanks, Doc. And of course, meron ding advice na to, well, ako guilty ako dito, because I'm on the obese side, to maintain your health also by keeping, yung eating the right amount. I think the Japanese have something like, uh, eat only 90% of your satiety. So that's another tip. Yung pag nag overeat ka lagi, uh, ako, I just call it moderation. I tell my patients, the only thing you need to do to live a healthy life is Live a life of moderation. Counting rice, counting meat, counting uh, uh, all of the good stuff. And uh, pag sumobra kasi yan, too much lechon, ay stroke ka or heart attack. Oh. Kung uh, too much yan, rice, yan. diabetes yan. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, ay, we too will much break cake. Off. We will hold off the tips kasi meron po tayong very special reminders mula sa aming mga sponsors. Wag po kayong aalis. Joe Saldariaga po. At may taba sa David. Good. With Globe, our steps can lead us to millions of doors opening, millions of paths unfolding, and millions of reasons to keep going. Now's the time to be with a network that gets better every day for you. Araneta City.
Welcome back mga katribu dito po sa Be Well Now. Kasama po natin si Dr. Ted Herbosa. Doc, we continue with your tips. Oh, pinapanood ko yung trailer mo about health and wellness, ano? And it shows, showed a, a lady who was doing yoga in the outdoors. So that's my next tip to you. Sunlight. Mm. Sunlight changes our uh, body colical cephalol to dihydrocolical cephalol. Ano ba yun? Vitamin D. Vitamin D. <laughs> so, vitamin D, it's present in our body, <laughs> but it can only change if we expose ourselves to the sun. I know many people don't like the sun kasi iitim daw sila. <laughs> but you know, the morning sun is good. You know, in fact, I think you should have uh, exercise in the morning outdoors so that you can get the sun. Of course, if you exercise at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., heat stroke naman ang kapalit nun. So again, too much of anything is bad. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation is late afternoon or early morning will mm -hmm. stimulate the production of natural vitamin D in your body. So and that, dami lang ng advice ko, no? Eat those leaf, uh, colorful vegetables and fruits and expose yourself to the sun. Exercise. You know? And of course, the most important and last tip that I will give is sabi nila yung ano ba ang secret ng longevity? Do you know, Ma'am Cory, what the secret is? Ano yun? She's excited. <laughs> ah, kailangan is, malaman namin. Oh, the secret is social interaction. They thought, why did people in countries like Okinawa, the Andes in Colombia, the islands of Sicily, why were they having long life spans? So, inaral nila, akala nila it was the hard life, yung farming and yung nagbubuhat. You know, when they discovered what is common in all those three areas, the high mountain, the island life in Sicily and in Okinawa, it's long social interactions. All these societies would eat together on a Sunday. They work hard during the week, but they would prepare their Sunday meal. They would stay long the whole afternoon just chatting with each other. And now we have proof that longevity is related to social interaction. I that if want. people are old, mom and bago kayo natutunan sa akin, ah. <laughs> so oh. it's important to keep our senior system. So, so in other countries now, they're getting the young people to visit the elderly in uh, in nursing homes, in home for the aged. Because the, they realize nabubuhay longer yung, yung may age. So that's why I realized pala, kaya pala yung mga lolo, lola ko, tuwan-tuwa pag may bagong apo. Mm -hmm. their inter now, aside from that, the family grows. I think it's really the social interaction. We went through 2020 with isolation. And many became depressed. Many became weak. Many were hospitalized. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to, in to realize that social interaction is a very important part of health. Mental health and physical health. So, ako, yan ang last recommendation ko. No? Uh, good food, sunlight, exercise, and of course, continue our social interaction with other people, with our loved ones, with our family, with our friends. Uh, now we're going to back to face-to-face -face classes with our children. Can you imagine some of the children now that grew up in the COVID pandemic, they get scared when they see people. Oh, They're traumatized. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So, so parang, where, when did this happen? How did it change? Well, in fact, we are supposed to be social human, social, social creatures tayo. Yes. We should be able to interact with other people. And that will that is what is going to keep us longer living. And I think that's what keeps us healthy in the Philippines. May hiling tayo sa fiesta, may hiling tayo sa family reunion, may hiling tayo sa barkada. I think as long as wala kayong mga bad habits, nag-iinuman doon or kumakain ng too much lechon. Or nagdodroga. <laughs> <laughs> nagdodroga. <laughs> yeah, but the, the part is nagkukwentuhan, human interaction. You are loved and accepted by your peers and society and your relatives. It it makes people live longer. It makes lolas and lolos live longer and want to wake up the following day alive and see their apos and their their uh, mga children growing. Ayan, Doc. Anong pinaka-favorite na health tip po ninyo para sa sarili at para sa ating mga katribo? Pinaka-favorite? Pina pinaka-favorite ko is really ano, moderation. Mm -hmm. According to me, uh, if you live a life of moderation, you eat just when you're, you're just enough. Yung tama lang, wag nagsosobra. Uh, you exercise, tama lang, wag mag over exercise. Uh, mag party at mag enjoy, wag lang moderation lang, wag sobra. Mag alcohol if you want to drink alcohol, social drinking lang, just to 
to you to, you know, to get tipsy and talk a little bit more with your friends but not yung talagang to the point of drunkenness or whatever. Yun. Yes. Yun. So all of these things uh travel is good because when you travel diba, you're forced to go out and walk mm-hmm. and uh, burn calories no. So even if you travel when you're eating a lot parang hindi ka tumataba if you notice that ma'am, ma'am Cory diba? Yes. You travel and you see you look at uh, you eat but you burn it by walking and okay, seeing with your friends and walking everything shopping <laughs> everything so it all burns calories pero doc paano naman tong monkey pox yung mga okay. pictures uh, nakikita natin nakakatakot naman yeah the picture tinatakot tayo masyado ng mga ano well monkey pox is an old illness it's been there it's been discovered since 1958 kaedad ko and uh, it used to stay only in south africa in West Africa and Central Africa. Uh-huh. And this is because of interaction of rodents, ma- monkeys, and people. And it's related to uh, smallpox. Oo, para so, nga, no? Oh, hindi ba siya yung pamilya oh. ng COVID? Hindi siya kapamilya ng COVID. Hindi rin siya kapamilya ng chickenpox. Yung ka- kahawig niya sa presentation is chickenpox. Chicken But pox. they're not related. Hindi sila magkamag-anak. Okay. Ang kamag-anak ni monkeypox is Uh, smallpox which we eradicated already from the world wala na tayong nakikita ng smallpox because of vaccination in fact na discover ang vaccines because of smallpox si uh, Edward Jenner the doctor that discovered this uh, yes. vaccine yung cowpox noon cowpox and uh, ginamit niya yung cowpox to fight smallpox kinuha niya dun sa ano at ininject niya dun sa batang may smallpox na buhay sila so i think Uh, yun yung history nito, no? So what happens? You have about 5 to 21 days of incubation. Yun ang problema, Ma'am Cory, no? Uh, the, the incubation period from the time you are exposed to the time you start to develop symptoms. So the first symptoms can appear as early as 5 days or as late as 3 weeks later. Oh, Kaya ito'y kumalat from Africa. Yung mga unang naka, nagkaroon nitong monkeypox, they traveled to Africa And then they spread the illness in UK, Europe, and the US. And then now it's also here in Asia. So because of air travel, syempre nakaikot yan. And nagkaroon, ang nangyayari doon, nagkakaroon ka ng first fever, tapos magkakaroon ng rash, mapulang rash lang, parang measles lang. And then mag elevate siya. We call it an exanthem, a viral exanthem. From a, macula, from a rash, it becomes an exanthem. To the point it becomes, after a few days, a vesicle, kagaya nung pictures na pinapakita ng, mm-hmm. ng stock nyo. No? They're showing Parang pictures. Bulutong. Bulutong tubig talaga. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, it will be clear fluid. Punong-puno ng virus yon, Nakakahawa yon pag nahawakan mo. And then, later on, nana na yun. <laughs> Magiging nana. Pas uh, and kulay dilaw. And then later on, matutuyo siya. Magiging scab or parang peklap. Yung, yung sa sugat natin na may matigas. Parang ganun. For that period, from the time you develop the fever or the rash to the time it is across, yung encrusted, you are infectious. So, ito yung naging problem if people have intimate contact with a person who has ha- had this uh, monkeypox. Whether, kasi yung fever, nawawala siya after a few days. So, yung rash na lang ang matitula. So, akala mo, okay ka na. Tapos, may mga parang tegyawat. Akala mo, pimple lang. Oh, yung pala, mo, allergy or prickly heat? Oo, oh, allergy or some pimple na ano, lumabas. No? So, akala mo, skin illness lang. Yung pala, monkeypox na siya. So, so, very important. Kumalat ito and our observation was, and the health authorities was, it was spreading in men having sex with men. But that doesn't mean only the they will have the... Anyone with close contact, whether doctor or nurse taking care of a monkeypox patient, kasi matagal yung interaction niya, mahawakan mo yun, or ma, ano. and then family members, pwede rin humiga ka dun sa kama na hinigaan nung nag monkey pox, and na-spread dun sa linen, sa, sa sheets, pwede ka rin ma-infect nun. So, so hindi siya sexually transmitted, it's transmitted by close contact, prolonged close contact with a person with monkey pox. So anong mga importante dito? To prevent it, very important is distance. So kung nakita niyo may lesion siya, na number one, huwag na kayong lumapit. Number two, kung nahawakan mo sila, kailangan maghugas ka kaagad ng kamay. Kasi baka hawakan mo yung ilong mo at mata mo, pumasok na si monkeypox virus sa'yo, infected ka na rin. So Pero very doc, important. Ano yung health protocols? 
uh, in oh, yung health protocol yun niya, uh, physical uh, distancing. Uh-huh. Yeah, you need to do physical distancing. Sabi nila, it can also be spread by droplet, yung mga saliva and everything. So, mm-hmm. masking is also good. Kasi, if you go near a monkeypox positive patient, so ka rin ng mask. Kasi kung umubo yun or magsalita, the droplets can also go to you and you can inhale it. So, pwede ka rin mahawa. Pero ang most common cause is uh, uh, prolonged physical contact. So, kaya nga sabi nila, yung intimate contact ang nagiging cause of spread. No, uh, walang gamot para sa monkeypox. Well, it's a viral illness. It's self-limiting. Of the several thousands that uh, were infected globally, parang 75,000 na yata yung report sa WHO, only 10 have died. Lang. So, mababa yung mortality. No? It's not like COVID na nakakatakot. Libo yung mga namamatay. Ito, sampu lang out of several. So, so, it's got a very low mortality. It's self-limiting. Parang bulutong tubig din. After a while, recovered ka na. Eh, ang problema lang, some of the marks can have pop marks. So, yung parang oh. it will cause a permanent uh, lesion in your skin. Pero, yan yung butil-butil na lesions. But otherwise... Uh, it's self-limiting. That means most people will recover unless you're elderly or you have uh, other illnesses. And there's a vaccine that actually can work with it, pero hindi pa siya available sa Philippines. This is the smallpox virus. You better remember, I told you kanina, it is related to smallpox. So we have a virus of smallpox kasi yung, yung smallpox, tinatago yan dun sa mga uh, first world countries. They have a uh, attenuated so they can make the vaccine but we still don't know who to give it do we give it to the general population since the, the spread is very slow anyway and you can avoid it by not having contact or by isolation baka hindi dapat kasi masyadong costly to vaccinate everyone baka you should vaccinate people only who are exposed na wala pang symptoms para ma-protect magka-antibodies na siya so, so we, we don't know yet wala pa ta- and as of now, wala tayong, wala tayong vaccine or access to the vaccine in the Philippines. So it's not registered yet in the Philippines. We're trying to talk with our American counterparts if they will share some of their <laughs> vaccines with us. But I think they also need it. They have more monkeypox. Tayo, iisa pa lang na report dito plus another Filipino in Singapore that tested positive. Uh, so, so I think... Doc, anong dapat kasi may monkeypox isang tao? Anong dapat siyang inumin? Just the usual? Uh, uh, that's the usual. Paracetamol for the fever, may, maybe an antipuritic for the itchiness and the pain of the uh, mm-hmm. lesions. Uh, and then uh, isolate. Isolate from other people. Bawal gamitin yung utensils niya. Siya lang gagamit ng spoon, fork, and uh, glasses mm-hmm. niya. Para hindi siya manghawa. Separate yun. And then, yun yung pati yung mga beddings niya. Huwag nang gamitin uli. Towels, beddings can actually spread it. So, pag nag-isolate ka, matagal yung isolation period, uh, Ma'am Corey, kasi some of the patients last uh, anywhere from two to three weeks na may lesion. So, medyo matagal yung isolation. Unlike dito sa COVID, five days, seven days, pwede ka na lumabas. Eh. So, ito medyo mas matagal because you are infectious until you have lesions. Mm-hmm. Eh, yung lesions, matagal maubos. So, yun yung, yun yung difficult part dito, the the, the the isolation period is much, much longer than COVID. Mm-hmm. Doc, uh, kasi uso na naman, no? Ma- yung mga mild infection ng COVID. Kailangan pa ba magpa-antigen test? I mean, antibody test para alamin kung flu ba yun o COVID yun? Uh, so, so, hindi antibody ang kailangan natin, no? Now we are accepting yung antigen testing. In fact, many of our colleagues now just do the rapid antigen test. So it's a test kit, parang pregnancy test, di ba? Ininasal swab sila, talagay nila doon sa uh, vial, tapos drop nila doon sa test kit. And then pag nag two lines ka doon, positive ka na. Uh, I just tested positive also a month ago. Eh. So ganun lang, hindi na ako nagpa-PCR. Pero I called up the local epidemiology unit ng Quezon City where I live to tell them nag-positive ako. But, uh... So, anong ininom then, nyo? Ako, I, I drank Paxlovid. So, because I am elderly and I have uh, comorbidities, I'm hypertensive. So, 
uh, uh, pinescribe ako ng doctor ko, yung asawa ko, siyempre pinescribe niya ako ng Paxlovid. But it's expensive. So, doctor na kami. So, may doctor's discount kami. May senior discount. A five-day course of Paxlovid cost me 24,000 pesos. Oh, Doc, ang mahal. Pero para sa mga... Oh, ang mahal. Mayama na si Ma'am Cory na mahalan pa. Siyempre, ilokano <laughs> po. Isipin mo yung ibang mahal. kababayan natin. Well, there are other options. Yung Molnupiravir, which is the other antiviral. But all of these antivirals, you need to take it within five days of onset of symptoms. Mm -hmm. Uh, after five days, useless na siya. Huwag niyo nang inumin siya. Kasi pagaling na kayo. So, oh, yeah. and, and yung Molnupiravir and... Uh, yung Molnupiravir for our colleagues, nasa 3,000 to 5,000 lang ang full course. Pero yung efficacy, mas mataas talaga yung Paxlovid. So, parang 100% effective to prevent you from getting hospitalized. Eh, paano so, naman para sa mga katribo na walang budget? Let's say, walang budget. Oo, oh, yung isang opium. Or... Or if you're if you're healthy, and that's why it's nice to invest in health and wellness. If your body is strong, and you're vaccinated, there is no need to take the no, optional na lang yon. Ayo. Yung pagtake ng antibiotics. So rest na lang, increase your vitamin C. Yes. Oh. Sun exposure. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. Correct. Correct. You invest in your health. Parang maginvest ka para pag tinamaan ka, then you can reserve to fight. Otherwise. Gagastos ka ng either million sa hospital or sabi nga ng wife ko, okay na yan, yung 24,000 na nagastos. Kaya sa mga hospital ka, manyumonya ka, eh million din ang gagastosin natin sa hospital. Diba? So okay na rin siguro yun if you have, can afford to, to pay for something. Lastly, Doc, marami ng mga bansa sa buong mundo, lalo-lalo na sa Europe, European Union, na mas gusto daw nila kung nakikita nila yung antibody test kesa uh, vaccine card kasi ang kailangan nilang malaman kung nagkaroon ka na ng COVID, meron ka ng protection. Correct, no? That, I think that's a logical uh, approach because there are many people who did not get vaccinated but got COVID. But they, they, may, they may mount a better antibody response kasi natural immunity ang meron sila. So wala silang vaccine card. So if you show that you have antibodies that are high, even if you don't have a vaccine card, you're actually protected. So tama yung logic na yun. So ako, uh, but the vaccine test, but, but the antibody test is quite expensive. So I think maybe, oh, maybe that's better off for people who are not vaccinated. Prove that you have antibodies. For those that are vaccinated, enough na yun. Just show the vaccine card and it should be acceptable to the other countries. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. Para sa mga gustong magpakonsulta sa inyo, alam ko masyadong busy po kayo, pero who knows, maybe you can still take in consultation. Uh, ano po yung contact numbers ninyo? Oh, so, you, you can actually ask, uh, contact me on my Twitter. It's Teddy Bird. I answer usually direct messages Teddy there for Bird. teleconsult. <laughs> Teddy Bird. <laughs> so, just, just look for Teddy Bird and that will be me. And then uh, you can also message me on Messenger, Feather Bosa. I uh, I actually answer teleconsults, and then I'll give you instructions if you if I really need to see you in my clinic at Philippine General Hospital. So I'm at Philippine General Hospital. I'm head of the emergency department, so I have an office above the emergency department, so I can see patients there if they want me to see them. Ayan, kapamilya ko po si Dr. Ted kasi ako po yes. yung director ng PGH Medical Foundation naman. Naku, ang daming na itutulong sa aking department ng PGH Medical Foundation. Nagdodonate sila ng ultrasound, ng mga equipment, ng mga lahat ng kailangan ko to help uh, treat the charity patients. Pag walang pera yung gobyerno, pupunta ako, susulat ako sa PGH Medical Foundation and the following week meron ng donation kaagad na. Ayun. Kasi po nagtitiwala ang ating mga kababayan dito at sa buong mundo sa PGH. Pag nakita nila ang beneficiary ay PGH, talagang mapagbigay talaga ang ating mga kababayan. We want to say thank you to them too. And we would like to thank all the donors and of course the board and officers of the PGH Medical Foundation. You have served for decades and uh, I, I think hindi na mabibilang yung inyong uh, servisyo sa ating mga mahihirap dito sa PGH. At hindi namin malilimutan ng aming founding chair na si Dr. Greg Albior na nasa Albior, langit na. Albior, yes. 
sumakabilang so, buhay na. Happy birthday nyo. Happy birthday okay. sa langit. <laughs> Oo, at saka very nice humanitarian si Dr. Greg Alpior talaga. Mm-mm. Dr. Ted, God bless you. Marami pong salamat sa inyong mga God bless you. Sa lahat. Mga katribo. It's always a pleasure. Just invite me anytime. Basta libre ako, I will be happy to oblige. Dr. Ted, saludo uh, po ako sa inyo. <laughs> Thank you very Bye-bye much. Po. Yan po mga katribo ang ating uh, Be Well, Be Well Now mga katribo episode. Kita po tayo next week dito lamang sa Be Well Now ng Daily Tribune. Stay safe mga katribo. Ito po si Cory Kirin. Daily Tribune would like to thank the following. Makati City, SM Supermall, Sharp, Century Peak, Prime Homes, Tulfo, DOTR Railway, LRTA, LRMC, Megawide, PGMA, DBP, CAAP, ICTSI, Aboytis Power, Aboytis, Udena, Cocogen, Globe, Enlex, Team Energy, MPT, Philcomsat, FDC, RCBC, Divina Law, Maya, Smart Trade, HMNF, LG, Smart, Maybank, PLDT, Caliraya, Mr. Freeze, Senator Villar, Meralco, Republic Cement, Century Property, EK, Mapicon, Caranza, Houseland, Pag-ibig, Meralco, Isuzu, Toyota, Tok Tok, Suzuki, MG, Angkas, Mitsubishi, Beauty Derm, SM Retail, NAC, Mondelez, BPI, Araneta, Insight, Pure Gold, Deco, Watson, Copiroti, Pagcor, and Simply Thai.